Oi, boys, welcome, welcome to another episode in our Bunny's career mode. Today's game will be the last time we play with a weekend side, pretty much the last game during the origin period. And as you can see, we have moved Latrell Mitchell into left center. If you remember in the last episode, I was talking about getting someone in there to hopefully produce more points with Benji Marshall. And that is Latrell Mitchell. Alex Johnston will be at fullback. And also in today's game, we'll be playing against the most talked about rookie, probably since Kalen Ponga. And that is Joseph Suali'i donning the number one, obviously for Tedesco who will be missing due to origin and finally shout out to the gang if you're watching us right now be sure to hit up that comment section with a hash tag odd squad and let's jump into it it's been a bit of a quiet season so far for Latrell Mitchell we're already past the halfway mark hopefully we can get him more involved I've been talking about this ever since we started playing the series just trying to get not just Latrell but any fullback trying to get them involved a lot is uh, pretty difficult I mean, there are fullback specific plays, as we've talked about in the past, in particular the inside ball. It's not so much the plays itself, really, it's just the, the ability to beat defenders one on one on legend is uh, pretty difficult, even for someone as high rated as Latrell. As we send it out to Benji Marshall, he hits Latrell. I mean, to be fair, we've been having more success breaking the line organically off plays, just hitting holes. As Marshall sends it, Cameron Murray in a bit of space was supposed to hit the next man. It instead finds Dean Hawkins, who finds Host. Gets wrapped up on the 30 Host, who in real life lost his uh, starting position in the second row. Had a bit of a shocker to open the season as we get Latrell Mitchell into some space. Benji Marshall hits Golor Matangi, who drew in two. And that opened it up for Latrell. You see, tries like that, we've been scoring a lot lately. Those uh, more organic line breaks off. Pretty much ball playing, no sidesteps, no steamrolling, no almighty fins, the hands of doom. I mean, we have scored a fair few cheesy grubber kick tries, but you know, you like these ones a bit more. Definitely more satisfying. This is our second game against the Roosters. If you didn't catch our first game, we pumped them in round four. We beat them 24 points to zero. It'll be funny if they turn in a better performance with their uh, weaker side than they did with their full strength side. But at the moment, we're looking pretty solid 20 minutes in. Just one win. We want just one win during this origin period of the Spunnies team. So far we are 0 from 2 as Benji gets lined up. Just past our 40, Dean Hawkins looking for the line. Can we get the bounce and it's a beauty. A 40-20 from the young gun. Latrell wasn't the only change by the way, as you can see we got Troy Dagen there in that hooker for Josh Cook. We've also brought onto the bench Corey Dennis and Harme Sele. As Cameron Murray gets ironed out. Still got plenty to work with here. Hawkins on the loop. Sends it to Marshall. Marshall to Kolo Matangi looking for Mitchell. Mitchell unable to get that pass away to the source. Mansour also another player that got dropped from the round one team as Benji Marshall drops it on the toe looking for more distance on that kick but we regather it nonetheless and we will score our second try of the match just like that we are up 12 points to zero our attack so far compared to the first two games oh it's pretty decent at the moment we're getting a bit of go forward as well too as we Throw a forward pass, we didn't need that. It's a big momentum killer. Carry to feed. Not selected in the blues as they go to Butcher. Butcher to Suwali'i. Speaking of, who's keen to see this dude? Make his debut for the Roosters. We probably won't see him until the origin period unless they get a... One of their back five gets injured, but still... I think there may be a couple more players ahead of him. Actually, nah, they'll play him for sure. They'll chuck him straight in, just off the hype alone. As Angus Crichton crosses for the first try of the match for the Roosters, but it's not just hype. Uh, like I was saying about Suoli'i, the hype isn't just from Jonas. He's getting proper praises from, from legends in the sport. As Suoli'i converts, and the Roosters close the gap to six. Five minutes to go in the half. Bit of a... Bit of a lackluster hit up, a lethargic hit up by Tom Burgess. As we go to Marshall, 
and that pass is telegraphed by Dupo Niwa. That was a that was a good interception. The pass looked on. As Butcher looks to power his way over for the second try of the match, Marshall Fuming. This will definitely be a try here for the Roosters. The first try was on the back of an error by us, and then now an interception. Both Latrell and Marshall unable to hold. Uh, who was it? Nat Butcher. Got the ball to ground. Kick to come. Suoli. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Daugeaho taking the kicks. But he must be off. Seven minutes into the second half. We are in our 30. With two tackles remaining. Looking for a decent kick from Hawkins. Can he find the line once again for a 40-20? Almost scooped up by Sua Ali'i and he's met by Jackson Polo. And uh, who's this in the center? Brandon oh, Burns, yeah. I think. As Kapawa makes a break, I think. Is that the Kapawa from the Tigers? I guess I forgot to move him, but he's here as Butcher finds space in the middle. That's a beautiful bit of play there from the Roosters. On the 20, Viral's hits. Wairia Hargreaves short. Looking to crash his way through the ruck. As they go wide to Dupo Nua. Bit of PCM. Five meters out. Wairia Hargreaves gets in the way. Kolo Matangi will clip him high. And here he is. Dauke Aho taking the shots at goal. Back on the field. Gets them out by two. Dagen's been pretty solid for us at Hoka. As we send it to Cam Murray. Fourth and last. Benji in the pocket. The wind is going in that direction as we send it to the corner. Suwa Lee trying to run it down and he just <laughs> just jogs his way towards the ball. Kind of let that one go. I guess there was nothing you could do anyway. As we try to throw a few dummies off the tap. Send it to Latrell. Try and power our way over the line. First, Benji. Man, that's another big hit on Benji. Copped plenty this game. Mitchell unable to get the pass out to the free man on the wing. This is a decent setup here. As we go to Benji looking for a long range grubber kick. What are with these Alfie Langer style grubbers? I swear I'm not trying to cheese our way past defenders of the short, the, uh, the old short ones. Anyway, fifth and last here. Look at the players offside. Not offside, but overrunning the play. Bit of a glitch going on here, so we'll take it with Benji. Pop a chip over the top. They are sitting in the end goal. And Benji will regather for our third try of the match. And we retake the lead. The trial Mitchell from right in front extends the lead to four. Second tackle, we approach the final ten. And that's what we want to see, boys. Some solid fins, some bumps maybe from our big boys. As Nichols finally gets wrapped up on the 30. Host to Johnston. Zooming past Manu. But we will get wrapped up at the back. Fourth. Oh, who was that? Jacob Host. Just getting in the way. Now we've got a rampaging Daokeyaho as he streaks past the 20. Angus to the left. They send it to the right. That's a good border. Jared Wairia Hargreaves. Try here. Could be the nail in the coffin for us. As Siosiwa Daukeyaho powers his way to the try line. He will get it down, I'm pretty sure. That's another bunker review. And there it is. That's three errors inside our own half, turning immediately into some Roosters points. Alright, prime time inside the final 10. Clutch minutes of the match. Roosters up by two. As Silsiwa, another break. Johnston, oh, who was that? Bounced it back into Nichols. We will get a shot here, Benji. Calling for it straight away. As we look for Mitchell, that's a beautiful flat ball. Backing up on the inside is Benji. 
We look for Benji, but it's going to be Corey Dennis who snatches that one. To be fair, I don't think old man Benji had the legs to make it all the way. But man, what a play between Benji and Latrell. Nice face ball. Put Latrell into the open. And this, the cherry on top from right in front to Latrell Mitchell. Will convert. And we go up to 24 points. The Roosters, 20. Full time, full time. We finally get a W with this weekend South Sydney outfit. We came close to winning in those first two games, but in the dying minutes here, the final 10, both Benji Marshall and Latrell Mitchell combined to deliver ultimately the match winning try. I've been thinking about this game since our last loss with this specific team. I know we won the last game, but I'm referring to our weekend team, you know, the one with our origin players missing. But yeah, we got the dub nonetheless. The combination of Benji Marshall and Latrell Mitchell worked the treat. Marshall picking up man of the match as always. If you enjoyed that and would like to see more Rugby League Live 4 content or more content in general, be sure to run a straight at that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you. you, you, you. Never need a doubt who's behind. That's my team, that's my team. Loyalty over everything, that's my team, that's my team. From the bottom where we grind, and that's my team.